I got me a truck, a trailer, and a chainsaw. Stay back, I got a chainsaw. In zero dollars, can we go from zero to 100 million? Let's find out. Well, hello and welcome in everybody. We're here on episode 44 on our journey from zero to $100 million. And I think we're getting some pretty good traction here going up in that value there. I'm gonna go ahead and start this worker back up over here on this field. That's where I left y'all last episode. This is actually a grass field. The field off to the left of this was gonna end up being cotton. Now, once this worker does get done, I'm gonna go through and touch up all the edges it missed. I only do that with grass fields because I don't wanna see all these empty spots every time I mow. But there's something I really wanna try out this episode, which is make gold <laughs> yes make gold i mean that's the main thing i'm gonna do but there's a few other side things i gotta do to keep the farm operating and going good i think either way let's let this worker go let's look into that gold production i keep talking about or i don't know if i keep talking about it i think i just only mentioned it once uh, oh well we're gonna run over here super fast why not now i believe somewhere in here it does come with a gold production and that's kind of what i'm looking for the no man's land gold production it's part of the no man's land pack let's see here or a part of the No Man's Land map, I guess. Not really pack. I figured it would be first right after the premium, but I guess not. Where are you? I know you're in here somewhere. There we go. We're getting into the No Man's Land stuff now. Here we go. We got line production. We already placed that down. I believe right here's the line production. And then here's the gold production. We need stone, water, and methane. So to get methane, we also need this production here too. No big deal. I think we'll go ahead and put both of these in there. I'll probably actually just put it on the corner. Well, you know what? methane production in the middle of the town that does not sound like a good idea as far as smells and everything else i guess well it doesn't matter it's just a game right let's go ahead and flatten out this land real quick because there's a large bump right there it's gonna end up taking out the grass unfortunately but it's all good i think i can make it work probably should just rose it up because there's a stone over here that's gonna cause an issue don't know how much of an issue it's gonna cause let's see how flat this gets nah it's just gonna be sticking up some that's fine it's not an issue at all, really. Okay, that's done there. I'm not going to worry about painting the ground. You know what? Change my mind. I'm going to paint the ground. I'm going to paint the grass. After painting grass, we're going to lay down some meadow grass. Don't like that forested look. If y'all remember or don't know, there was trees all through here. That's what that ground texture is there. That's forested ground, grass, dirt, something like that. I don't know. That's what that texture is. And that's what we're removing right now. After getting that there, let's go ahead and grab some meadow grass, pop it in here, and then we'll lay down those productions. Like to do all this beforehand. That way I don't have to touch it up and get really close and fine tune the edges at the end. And I'll still have to do a little bit, but at least this way I'll have to do less. Like this right here. Back into the production now, we need to, uh, we need this one for methane. Let's go ahead and place that in right here. I don't see any reason why not to. And then we need gold production. We'll go ahead and place this over here on the corner. Be our big money maker, I think. Hey, at least I think gold's going to make some good money. I'm not sure. Let me go ahead and touch up the terrain a little bit here. Make it look a little better. This is what I ended up with. I think this is going to work out great. Basically, I got to get the methane from here over to here. And of course, I'm probably going to do all that automatically. Now, I'm really interested to see what all this methane production takes, what all I need to put into it. And whoa, we got a finished worker. That was pretty fast. I didn't think it'd be done that fast. Let me go ahead and touch up these edges, and then we'll look at that production. All done taking care of that field. Let's go ahead and jump into this production, see what all it takes and what all I need to get over here. Looks like there's tons of different options here for making methane, and I really like that because I kind of got an abundance of slurry, and I don't want to use silage to make it. I don't want to use manure to make it because that's kind of reserved for something else. And I could also use some crops if I end up getting any of these crops planted and harvested. I'm pretty sure I do not have any of these planted. I think I got sugar cane planted to make sure. Sugar. So no big deal there. Looking at slurry. Let's go ahead and get all that slurry from my cow barn over here. It only holds 100,000 liters, which is not much at all. So what that means is I'm not going to put it in here. I'm going to put it in my silo back at the farm and distribute it over here. Another issue here I need to take care of is the manure. Now, previously I did try to do something with the manure and it all kind of went over to the compost factory, which is not good because that manure needs to be used in quite a bit of my productions. So I need to get some of this manure over into our large silo and start distributing it out also. Didn't realize it, but somehow I have a whole lot of slurry over here. Oh, I guess I distributed it over here from my other silos. That makes sense. Either way, we're going to turn it on to distributing already 573,000 liters there. I only took 200,000 liters out of the cow barn. That's why I was really surprised to see this. 
and also got a auto drive course kind of set up here running in this direction still haven't quite figured out how to get it to auto load auto unload i guess i mean i see the options there i've tried it here and there i don't know i've just never got it to line up correctly i like doing a little bit of the work myself here's another issue we got to take care of i'm pretty sure i have to take care of it it is the bark mulch right here there's only 570,000 liters and the value is only 34,000. kind of sad actually but we'll go ahead and start loading it up in here and the reason i want to take care of that is because let's look at the production and i'll tell you why inside the production here it only holds 1 million liter capacity now i've had an issue one time where i i don't know if it got fixed or if i just can't remember this correctly but i had one of these maxed out at 1 million liters and the whole entire production shut down that's not good so it's not that much value it's really just getting out of there so we can keep it running and obviously get best sale time price out of it why not this is going to take a while to fill up but while that's filling up we got some gold to start making now looking into the whole gold production here we just need stone water and methane i already have stones and water set on distributing from our main silo methane's not set on distributing yet and then the gold we're going to set on spawning and try to save that Let's look at the methane production. We have slurry over here. That is good, perfect. This is storing the methane, which is not what I wanna do. I wanna distribute it over and we'll see how well that keeps up with it. I am really interested to see how much the gold does pay. So we will find that in just a second. Right here, gold does say $9,533 at the farm shop. Looks like that's probably gonna be the best sell price area. I like that. I guess I could actually buy it out of the multi-fruit buying station. I don't see how. Does it just dump right into a trailer? Because that's kind of what it looks like that multi-fruit buying station does. Huh, interesting. We'll show price fluctuation. 9,500 looks like the max in February. And we'll probably be coming up on that pretty soon, I think. I'm trying to pick up the slurry automatically, dump it in the silo. Saying it can't reach the slurry. Don't know what's going on there. We'll go ahead and change back to our normal mode we were doing. And looks like still can't reach slurry. Not sure why. I'm sure I'll figure that out one day. Okay, I got it set up. Let's see if this works. From what I understand, I might have to adjust a few of the points to move forward, backwards. I'm not sure. But this should save me some time from having to do this myself. Now let's go ahead and jump over to the bark mulch and get that stuff sold right here. Bark mulch is all sold off there for $34,263 plus that $2,732 environmental score reward. Not much money compared to how many millions we got up there. And this is actually looking like an issue trying to get this to spawn out over here. I keep coming over here, moving these over. I'm just moving over by hand, trying to uh, keep this empty so it can run all night. I don't know how well that's gonna happen. There's one thing I'm really conflicted about doing right here is selling off the solid fertilizer. Now I did say I was gonna start making it for profit and probably selling it, but I don't have any stored. I would probably think storing some is a good idea to have for my fields. But also, I'm just like, eh, who cares? Let's sell it all off. I'll make more, right? But I'm also not too worried about selling it off yet because we're nowhere near full capacity in that production. I believe it's like 1.6 million liters. There's only 377,000 there now. So let's go ahead and wait. And it's not even best sell time. Somehow it's just way up there in value. Looks like it was able to pick up the slurry, but it was not able to unload it. So I adjusted that point right there and it should be good to go now. I think we're good to go ahead and sleep through this month and that money is dropping pretty fast. That's because I got a trailer filling up with stones right now. Uh, previously, I did try to fill the trailer all the way up, but it was just taking way too long. So I stopped. I'm going to let it go all night, even though it's not going to technically run all night. It's just going to run for the time I'm on the game, I guess. I think. You know, I never actually left anything running all night. Let's see what happens. Looks like it did not fill all the way up. That's kind of what I thought would happen. I'm going to try to get this trailer filled all the way up. And I think the slurry is having an issue right now filling up. I don't know what happened there because first time it went around it worked but right now it's not working oh wait never mind it filled up okay hey we're good it's running i was stabbing through and i saw it sitting there like kind of far away from the trigger point and somehow it's actually working never mind we're all good going around looking at the fields looks like i got one field that needs to be weed removal i guess herbicide added to it and i have no herbicide here so let's go ahead and top this off with some herbicide i might have some somewhere else now that i think about it more maybe i don't need to buy this Oh, well, I'm going to go ahead and buy some more. And the reason I'm going way out of the direction right now is because my main... Oh, wait a second. This one doesn't have herbicide. Oh, gosh. That's not good. Anyways, let's go to a different one. <laughs> but the reason I'm going way out of the direction is because my main multi-fruit buying station is currently occupied with filling up with stone still. And it's still going. One thing I started a couple episodes ago was trying to get these silos empty. Not just this one. I got this forest silo and I got the one in town. This one here is actually empty. Let's go ahead and delete it. That way it's not showing up on my productions anymore. I know there is a way that you can set it up where stuff is not showing if it's not being used, but I don't like doing that. 
all the time at least. Now there's that one in town. Let's go ahead and jump over there, see if that one's ready to empty out. I believe it is. I love leaving this tractor here. This was my very first vehicle. So every time I hit the tab the first time, whenever I'm out of a vehicle, it brings me back here to the town. Really awesome. Oh, wait a second. I already deleted the silo. <laughs> I remember now. Sorry, it's been a minute since I played. But check this out. We now officially have some gold over here. Quite a bit of gold, I think, too. That's looking good. How much are these pallets? Let's see here. That's 1.6 ton. That's just a thousand pieces. It doesn't exactly give me a liter count. So I don't know. What is that? Maybe a thousand liters? Possibly. I, it's kind of weird coming in with pieces. Guess I could look right here and it does say gold 8,876 liters is what we have with a total value right now of 81,000. Best sell times July. I think we'll have a good surplus by then. I need to get around moving some stuff around, clearing out these spawn points because I'm trying to save this stuff to the best sell time, which takes up a lot of my time. Just coming over here and checking on the stone production, noticing it's got a little bit foolish levels, not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and set this stuff on spawning. That way I can move it over to a storage area. Now, I'm not sure where it spawns out. It kind of looks like it might just drop right here. That's an unload. Oh, wait, hey, here it goes right there. Okay, I didn't see any markers or anything. Like I said, currently going around picking up everything and thought I'd go ahead and add this to the rotation. Heading over here now to pick up the gold. Hopefully none of this stuff empties out in here. I don't think it will. Let's go ahead and get that gold auto loaded on there. That works out great. Got the gold loaded up. Let's go get that put away in storage. And I really want to thank y'all so much for stopping in and watching. I really do appreciate it. This is actually not my first time making gold. Y'all are interested in seeing my other video of making gold. You can check that out right here.